welcome back to painting and decorating a uh, quick video here on paint brushes synthetic and pure bristle which are the best uh, to be honest the both um, needed these days because of modern paints have changed a little you get these washable paints and they dry a lot quicker and they don't like being washed out so on some of these pure bristle brushes the paint gets into the stock and it just hardens and you can't get it out it's really difficult whereas the synthetic brushes seem to release the paint a lot better um, simply because it's plastic and water just beads off plastic and natural hair soaks up water um, that's that's the reason anyway so let's just have a quick look so on the job at the minute <clears throat> i'm actually using this uh, valspar excellent opacity tough durable scrubbable now with it being scrubbable i've been using a synthetic brush and it's so much easier because the brush lets the paint come off a lot better um, pure bristle the stock ends up swelling uh, and it's a nightmare when you come to clean it out <clears throat> excuse me I said, I said on a job on the minute I've not I've been off for flipping this is my second week off I've got the flu oh I've had the flu I'm actually coming out of it now right um, so yeah so some paints it doesn't matter which brush you use really you can use a pure bristle in some of these water based paints like this is a Leyland acrylic primer undercoat um, it's a fast drying undercoat but it doesn't dry as fast as some of these modern paints that have got the um, more resins in them uh, the more tough actually than other ones so there's one that's a Leyland undercoat and that's a Leyland fast drying gloss Again, you can actually work that with a pure bristle brush uh, and a synthetic. It doesn't dry amazingly fast and I quite like it actually, it does leave a good finish. The durability of it, a bit dodgy I think, but um, again some of the emulsion paints, contract emulsions, normal vinyl matte emulsions, anything that isn't a washable paint uh, you can use a pure bristle brush and sometimes I prefer that because a pure bristle brush uh, the more tough uh, they stand the knocking about when you're getting it into corners and things like that some of these synthetics over time they can uh, start splaying but it's like I said at the beginning you actually need both brushes in your box these days um, all depending on what paint you're using uh, you might have gloss one day water base the next day and you might even want to buy some cheap brushes now and then because you may be using some special paints that hard, harden really quick two pack paints and things like that uh, bitchiness paints and well, there's something else I was going to mention then. yeah the fact is in painting there's certain jobs that people specialize in so you'll have a certain kit and you won't need half the stuff say that i need because basically i'll paint anything if you phone me up and say can you paint this i'll i'll give it a go basically but some people specialize in just new builds or certain other areas of painting um so yeah for a painter you need all the brushes and even down to some fine brushes so yeah I've got everything and I'm going to bring out these again some specialised brushes that's a stippler for doing some uh, decorative effects you'll see that in action at some point and that's a softener for marbling, wood graining, things like that and I promise you will see these working uh, and that's a flogger um, they're all natural pure bristle I feel like I want to badger her 
quite expensive, but uh, good brushes. Right, that's it for now. Uh -huh.